coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. SW-51 Mustang coming to America via Titan Aircraft. Chinese stake in Icon Aircraft raises eyebrows at FBI. And Long Island Airport moving to private operation. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. SW-51 Mustang coming to America via Titan Aircraft. Over the years, a number of stunning Mustang replicas have shown up, some of which have managed to duplicate the aura of the legendary bird to an extraordinary degree, and for millions, less than the real thing. Most recently, here in the States, the lovely all-metal Titan Aircraft T-51 series is getting a lot of deserved attention for their rendition of this historic machine, but a Polish replica, the Scale Wings SW-51, is starting to get its share of attention for a different approach to the P-51 replica formula. And here in the States, they'll be partnering with Titan for U.S. customer completions. Already, the first two SW-51s are on their way to the Austinburg, Ohio headquarters of Titan Aircraft, where they will, quote, provide a wide range of SW-51 Mustang support, including build assist, engine and avionics installation, FAA documentation, and flight training, end quote. The Scale Wings SW-51 Mustang is a true-to-scale, high-performance replica in 70% to the original P-51 Mustang aircraft dimensions and an all-carbon fiber design. An intricate eye-catcher, more than 100,000 details such as the rivets, textiles, covers, and more were handcrafted into all manufacturing molds. This feature, combined with a high-quality chrome finish, allowed the SW-51s to mirror the original's aluminum appeal in an unprecedented form. After the break, NTSB recommends Piper AD for rudder issue. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. NTSB recommends Piper AD for rudder issue. The results of an investigation into a number of incidents involving vintage Piper aircraft have been released, exposing a vulnerability in aircraft that have remained in service to the point that lifetime fatigue could take its toll to the point of breakage. The part in question can be found in Piper PA-12, PA-14, and PA-18 still in service. A series of incidents with similar patterns of parts failure have been investigated by the NTSB, bringing about concerns over the steel selection used in Piper rudder posts built prior to 1974. Textron reports Q4 2021 results. Textron reported its fourth quarter income for 2021, down a bit from 2020, but overall looking quite good going forward, according to Chairman of the Board and CEO Scott C. Donnelly. Textron's aviation arm saw the delivery of 46 jets in 2021, down from 61 the year before. Its turboprop deliveries flagged in similar fashion, dropping to 43 from 51 the year before. Lower volumes are said to be the result of supply chain problems and the enduring shortage of chipsets. Elon Musk asks flight tracker owner to stop following his jet. A 19-year-old aviation enthusiast received an interesting message regarding one of a handful of online Twitter bots finding an offer from Tesla and SpaceX celeb Elon Musk. He had requested that the young student pull down the at Elon Jet Flight Tracker, an account that automatically updates the status and arrival of Musk's Gulfstream G650. The Musk Tracker account boasts more than 136,000 followers on Twitter. 
He sent a late-night message to Sweeney describing it as a, quote, security risk and requesting it be taken down. Diamond Aircraft adds Philippines distributor. Austrian manufacturer Diamond has announced the addition of AirFlight's Asian subsidiary as their official sales distributor in the Philippines. AirFlight Asia came to fruition in 2009 when its parent company sought to expand on its then-current business in the region. AirFlight Asia now offers virtually everything the area needs under its large umbrella, which includes FBOs, aircraft sales, customer service, tech support, and maintenance. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Chinese stake in Icon Aircraft raises eyebrows at FBI. Icon Aircraft has again been the subject of increased scrutiny in recent weeks, as investors worry that the Chinese government-backed investment company purchased nearly 47% of the manufacturer. Some American shareholders have accused the firm of carving out the plane maker to improve its own technology back home. Reportedly, shareholders petitioned the U.S. Committee on Foreign Investments to check into the situation, which began looking into it in November 2021. The FBI has also reportedly begun probing possible criminal violations stemming from the tech transfer. Shanghai Pudong Science and Technology Investment Company remains the biggest shareholder of ICON, the company that made waves with its light sport A5 amphibian and years of less than honest business actions. The company had hoped to have a type certificated A5 approved by the end of 2021 to open sales channels around the world in locales that do not recognize the light sport designation, but that appear to remain outstanding if not unrealistic. Thus far, the company has delivered far less than the hundreds once trumpeted during their heyday. Shareholders in many domestic aircraft companies have watched with consternation as foreign companies have been able to swoop in and take the lion's share of manufacturers. Coming up after these messages, Long Island Airport moving to private operation. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Long Island Airport moving to private operation. The Anti-Private Aviation East Hampton Town Board approved a resolution to deactivate East Hampton Airport, HTO, through a temporary closure on March 1st and reopen it three days later as a new airport, a private use facility subject to prior permission. The board says the change will greatly reduce the noise and traffic in the area, something long requested by a few locals. The removal of commercial services and outsiders is not popular outside of the limited circle of residents and renters, however. The airport is one of the few available to residents looking for access to the east side of the Little Peconic Bay. Under the new rules, a series of flight operations and restrictions will go into place, including curfews and prohibitions on specific types of jets, seaplanes, and helicopters. The change is possible after the expiration of FAA grant assurances last year, allowing the town to selectively restrict the airport's use. The NBAA thinks moving to a private airport doesn't bode all too well for a majority of aviators, as the change effectively removes it from the aeronautical ecosystem. For well-heeled locals with our multi-million dollar homes, ridding the area of a noisy airport wouldn't be a strange turn of events. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.